my 2023 Fighter of the Year and the undisputed UFC Flyweight Champion, Alessandre Pantoja. Pro debut at 17 years of age in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Finally breaks through to win the undisputed UFC title at 33 years of age. He is as watchable and as well-rounded as any fighter in the sport. And in advance of his first title defense in our fighter meeting, he said, now the focus is getting my pound for pound due. I know I'm the best flyweight in the world. I'm out to prove that again tonight. And I want to show the masses that I can be the pound for pound king. And he might just be that guy. challenging matchup here tonight. He will make himself undeniable as far as the UFC is concerned. First order of business, this significant challenge here tonight. Pantoja's in half goal. There it is, now he's going to mount. That was a slick transition. Look at him, he's setting up the choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Submission defense wins this transition. Well, he misses with the left punch there. And that's not the danger in the engagement there. Oh, that's a big there. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Nice block. Midway through round one. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Attack it on, bar. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. He's having his way with him here. Big ground and pound. Setting up for an unlock now. Ooh, that looks tight. Wow, somehow, 
saw the ways he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful despair grappling offensively, but also defensively. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates. Pantoja's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Arm triangle getting very close. He's got it. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Beautiful shot lands in the leg there. Soften him up and eats another huge knee. Very nice leg kick there by Pantoja. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Tight control the fight. Right behind the jab. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Big strikes continue to land. Lands a big elbow there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to his feet. Well, you don't want to take too many kicks on that calf, and now it's starting to show some visible damage. You can see the color starting to change on the calf. He's taking too many of his kicks. Good. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, real good submission attempt. Oh, that one looks tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right? and start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Massive shot from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Pantoja. One minute. Pantoja's going for the rear naked choke. He's got the choke here. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, 
landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready. Ready. Go. Third round under that. Clean punch right there. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, beautiful level change. Pantoja's is going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. That's in pretty deep. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Work from the top here by Pantoja. Another strike gets through from the top position. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. He's isolating an arm. What a tight arm bar. Just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Big, big shots landed by him now. Beautiful transition. He's got to start to get to the get up process. Because everybody talks like you just get up, you don't. It's a process, right? You get to the under, you build to the elbow, then you start to gain height to get back to your feet. Well, the grounded pound is there once again. Strong work here by Pantoja. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Hit the half guard. Well, that was a high level extended battle on the ground. Now though, the athletes back to their feet and no surprise, the crowd responds in kind. The crowd just <laughs> to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big right hand lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that hook to the target. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, how good was that combo? Oh, oh. Beautiful ground and pound. And now he's got his right, opponent right. cut. Just trying for a submission here. Look at that, it's tight. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Pantoja. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Yep, got 
got to be very careful there. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, come on. I'd be tapping. That's got to be it. what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight as you can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there great technique to set up the finish all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ he was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it eventually his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission he did that and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Alejandro the Cannibal Pantoja! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish 